So I'm here with Pedro and Inés, one of the contestants of this year's Festival da Canção. Uh, first of all, congratulations for the song and also for being uh, here at Festival da Canção. I mean, not here in March, but... Uh, so my first question is, how do you feel now that your song is out and everybody can listen to it? It's actually a relief because I was hiding the song for so long and I was so excited that people would listen to the songs, but we, we couldn't show it before. So actually now it's a relief that I can send it to all my friends and my family. Yeah, it's a, a very well kept secret for uh, I think two and a half months now, and I am very proud of, of our song, and I'm now I'm uh, excited for sharing it. Yeah. And, and what was your reaction when you found out that you were going to be here uh, competing for um, an opportunity to win uh, Festival da Canção and maybe uh, represent Portugal in Eurovision? Well, Inês has a good story because she was in the middle of. I was I was working. I, I am a psychiatrist. I was in the hospital and I I had like a, a moment of um, my brain stopped. I had to ask the patient to to go outside and, and breathe <laughs> uh, because for me uh, it's always been uh, music and medicine and now I get to do seriously uh, music uh, for once and uh, I'm. I can't, I can't tell you how happy I am. And doing this with a song from Pedro, uh, it's even better because the song uh, really matches uh, what music means for me, which is freedom, traveling, uh, being happy. I don't know what you want to say about it. No, it's high, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, right to, it's high energy, I think. And I think uh, we're going through this pandemic, so it's important to have songs that lift us up and cheer us up. Yeah, uh, and, and, and gives us permission to travel because people were, yeah. uh, you know, like policing each other this whole time. And then finally, you know, someone says, go ahead, <laughs> do what you have to do. Yes. Uh, I was going to ask, what are your uh, expectations uh, for Festival Canção in March? Do you I, have any? I don't know, but I, the clothes that I use for Turin is... Uh, <laughs> I, I'm gonna, going blue because, uh, you know, it was, goes well with my eyes. So that's... <laughs> that's <laughs> Uh, we just want to have fun and meet uh, the great musicians that are part of the of festival. Um, have this ex make the most out of it. Uh, there's something I want to say uh, for uh, foreign, foreigners listening to us, is that our song is in eight languages. Wow. So I want you to find spot the part <laughs> in your own language in our song. That's very interesting, actually. Yeah, the the base the base of the song is Portuguese, but it has like uh, three sentences in in uh, French. No, actually three in Italian, two in French, three in English, uh, two in Spanish, one in Russian, and one in Sw Swedish slash uh, Danish, because we we chose wisely the words that are the same in Swedish and Danish. I think our Eurovox team is going to enjoy this very much. <laughs> uh, one last question I wanted to make is what is your ultimate favorite song, a Portuguese song, that won Festival da Canção and went to represent us at Eurovision? Uh, Carlos Paião. Uh, playback? Playback. We are very, we have the same kind of taste actually. Uh, I have to honor uh, José Cid, O uh, Grande Amor, uh, because uh, he had a little bit of this idea in yeah. his song. Uh, I was just thinking about him when you were telling this. Yeah, uh, just a little bit. And also another inspiration for us was uh, Rafael Gualazzi. He, he represented Italy in 2011. His song was uh, Folia d'Amore in, in Eurovision was uh, Madness of Love. He mixed English with Italian. And this is the song that got me uh, hooked to Eurovision because it's so good. And I, I was... 20 in 2011 and from then on I, I started to cook this idea yes. <laughs> of one day being there and, and doing this song in several languages like like Rafael Galazzi and, and José Cid. Yes. Thank you so much for this interview and I wish you the best of luck uh, in March and I hope to see you in Turin. Who okay. knows? Yeah. Thank you. Bye.